as everybody knows, I'm a big fan of wrestling. I, I like to wrestle. I want to be a wrestler. But about every month or so, there's an indie show here in Indianapolis called Wrestling Theology Fellowship, a.k.a. WTF. I'll leave a link to their Facebook channel in the description below. Or, sorry, their Facebook page. But, um, usually at some point during the show, they have a guest come out and talk. And the guest comes out and talks about their story, tells their story, a little bit of their story and everything. And this past month's show, they talked about suicide. And it's a topic no one really likes to talk about because it's very depressing and sad but yet it's something that we really need to talk about because it's happening more and more in the world so I've always thought of suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary problem because there's always someone out there that you can talk to or go to if you're feeling that way I know me personally, whenever I'm getting down and depressed, I can talk to one of my friends and they can help me through being sad or upset. And if anybody that watches this video is feeling sad or depressed or upset, they can come talk to me. But the title of this video is going to be WTF Words of Wisdom because this, this video clip that I'm about to show you, I recorded at the last Wrestling Theology Fellowship show, which is an amazing indie show. It, they, they're they able to do it in a church, that's how good it is. And it's family friendly, but it's still in a wonderful show to go to. So I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of how they, they're spreading a message. And it's a message I believe in about the suicide and everything and before anybody comments or anything I do have permission from the people in the video to post this so I give to you guys wrestling theology fellowship Even though I'm 
I'm crying for just about anyone I meet, I'm not always crying to myself. And a few months ago, I, I lost my job, I lost my spouse, I lost my dog, and I lost my best friend, all at once. And it felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders, and it was too much to handle. And I'm ashamed to say it now, but I thought about it in my own life. And it was a really scary moment for me, because I, I'd never gone that far down the, the darkness path. I, I never thought that low. I lost a friend to suicide when I was young. It's my best friend. And it never really left my mind after that. And when I was down, and when it felt like praying and meditating and affirmations weren't enough, I reached out to my friends. I reached out to the people that I love and that I trust. And I asked them for help. And my friends, one of them called the hospital for me and he, he arranged a bed. And another, he took me into his car and he dropped me off and he sat with me and waited while we were in the emergency room and they checked me in made sure that I was all right. And the thing I learned there in the hospital when I had to stay about my mental health is I wasn't being kind to myself. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't following doctor's orders. Instead, I chose to self-medicate. And that can be very dangerous and often slippery slope. And if anyone out there can relate to what I'm saying, I want you to know that there's hope for you. Because um, when I was there out of the hospital, my mom was there to pick me up. And I gave her a hug and I cried in her arms like a baby, born again. And I heard a song there that day. Somehow it got saved into my library on my phone. And I, I want to recite some of the lyrics for you because uh, it was a very wonderful, uplifting song. I'd never heard it before. I don't know how I saved it. I think it might have been a bit of a miracle that I heard it. And the words said, When you walk through the storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver sound of the dark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain. Though your dreams be tossed and blown. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Very much appreciate that. And you know, uh, two weeks ago, my, one of my best friends from high school committed suicide himself.
kind of brings this, this, this together, at least in, in the way that I understand things. It's not this perfect way of, of how to deal with everything, but there's a song by Torn Wells, and, and the words of it is, is fully known and fully loved. And, and a really smart man said, if you're, if you're fully loved but not known, it's comforting, but it's just superficial. And it doesn't really satisfy things. There's some love, but it's only surface deep. And if you're fully loved, uh, or fully known, but you're not loved, that's the thing that we fear most. I mean, maybe some of you are going through that right now. I mean, maybe you've had that instance where someone fully knows you, and all of a sudden they don't love you anymore. Maybe you've been there, maybe you're there, maybe you'll be there. Those are the moments that take us down a tough road. I know for me, as I think about that, there's, there's one person that I came to grips with when I was a young kid who fully knows me and yet still fully loves me. And where he loved me so much that he sent his son down to die on the cross for me. And that's, and that's where we're at today. And it doesn't, it doesn't always take away every single pain that's there. It doesn't make every day hunky-dory and perfect and beautiful. But it allows you to understand that no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on, that there is somebody that fully knows you, that knows everything about you, the goods, the bads, where I'm sitting in the back of the police car making mistakes, and yet he still loves me, and nothing can take that away. And he came, he died, and he, I don't know about you, but it overwhelms me with that love when I think about that. And I don't know about you, I don't know if you've been overwhelmed any time in your life ever, but when I heard about that story, the little lady was telling me about Jesus, and I got to know him some more and realized how incredible he was, and nothing else mattered. Because life can be down, it can be up. I don't expect anything except the fact that he is who he is. God is God. And he knows me, and he loves me. And if you don't have, if you, if you don't know him, if you don't know that, I would say that's been, I'll, I'll put away everything that I've done in my Major League Baseball career, and you're like, well, I haven't heard your name. It's like, that's okay, see, I'm not that special. But I would put all that to the side to be fully known and loved by God. And so, General Church, thank you so much for your words. Rich, it's incredible that you're even up here to tell the story as we talked about your friend very much. And, and I want you all to know, thank you for allowing me to be here. I've enjoyed watching this. Hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much. And oh God, talk to you soon. All right, so with that, let's get Zane back up here, get some more uh, wrestling action going on. I've got a <laughs> You do have to get prepared for it, so you better get back there. Don't forget Kane. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. Forget that. I'll see you soon, everyone. <laughs> no, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here comment sections, or whether you know me in person and are seeing this video, I'm here to talk to you. I'm, I'm always open to conversations, whether you're a random viewer I've never met or you're my bestest of friends. I'm here, and I'm here to talk to you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Law.